Your Excellency, at this juncture, I would uh, like to welcome Honorable Yar, the Managing Director of South Sudan Urban Water Corporation, to come and explain and introduce the treatment plan that you just integrated. Honorable Yar, welcome. Thank you, MC. Your Excellency, General Salfakir Mayadit, President of the Republic. Honorable advisors of the President. Right Honorable Speaker, Deng Deng, for Transitional Council of State. Honorable Paul Mai Deng, our Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation, and also the Chair of the Board of Directors for South Sudan Urban Water Corporation. Her Excellency, Sara Nene Redento, Deputy Governor of Central Equatorial State. Your Excellency, Tusmi, Ambassador of Japan to South Sudan. Mr. Ando Naoki, Senior Vice President of JICA and his team. Honorable Banguda Moom, Chairperson for the Specialized Committee on Water Resources and Irrigation, and all the members of National Transitional National Legislative Assembly. Honorable Chairpersons of Commissions and Head of Independent Institution. Honorable Ministers, National Ministers and State Ministers. Excellencies, diplomatic corps, international and regional organization accredited to South Sudan present here. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to this inauguration ceremony for the official handing over of Juba water supply system to the government of the Republic of South Sudan by the government of Japan. Your Excellency, it is a great honor for me as a managing director of this life-saving institution to address the people of South Sudan, specifically the resident of Juba at this very important inauguration event under your leadership. It has been 10 years of waiting since this project started with many ups and downs in order for us to arrive at this final stage. Thanks to your leadership for initiating this project through international cooperation with the government of Japan. Now the people of South Sudan have the right to say, the friend who responds in the time of need is a friend indeed. <laughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to give my utmost appreciation to those who help us as a corporation to accomplish this milestone without their leadership, their support, and their participation, this project would have not reached where we are today. I will start with my minister, Honorable Paul Maideng, Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation. Thank you very much for your leadership. And all the board members who are present today, I will give a special thank you and recognition to late Honorable Mano, Peter Garquot, who would love to have been here today, but unfortunately he could not make it. I will recognize him in extension. We have had many ministers throughout the 10 years. I want to recognize Honorable Sophia Palgai, She's now a member of uh, Pan-African Parliament. She was our former minister. Honorable Garang de Mabior, Mabior Garang de Mabior, former minister. Right, Honorable Jema Nunu Kumba. She was the minister of electricity, dam, water resources, and irrigation. 
And now the current speaker, Honorable Paul Mayoma Kate, former Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation. Honorable Joseph Dirji Kok. And Honorable Cham Jok Chung, former Managing Director. And Honorable Engineer Isaac Liabuil, former Under Secretary. These people are the people who initiated this project and all our appreciation and thanks. Without their initiation and establishment of this uh, uh, ministry, we could have not reached here. I would also like to recognize the Under Secretaries. The current sitting Under Secretary, Emmanuel Ladu Permenas, Honorable Alier Oka, former minister, former under secretary, and all the staff of South Sudan Urban Water Corporation, especially the engineering team. Your Excellency, I also want to recognize the role played by the central legatoria government. Under the current governor, Honorable Emmanuel Adil Anthony and his predecessors, as well as the local authority through the mayor and the commissioners, respectively. They help South Sudan Urban Water Corporation by identifying and allocating land and access to land, which are of importance for the implementation of this project. Your Excellency, in the same note, I would like to recognize the role played by the organized forces, both the military and the police alike. They contributed in providing the necessary security for the Japanese contractors. And they went as far as giving up their allocated land given to them by the community just to accommodate the installation of some of the key project material. I wholeheartedly salute them for that. Your Excellency, the project you are inaugurating today is a very important project to our country in terms of service delivery. However, it looks small in the eyes of the growing population. Usually people need water services to reach them in each and every home. But it is always said, a thousand mile journey starts with one step. Therefore, we believe that you are aware of the importance of these vital services. And you will do what it takes under your leadership to include water as one of the top government priorities, Your Excellency. In addition, the South Sudan Urban Water Corporation is mindful about the sustainability of this facility, which is being handed over to us today. However, the sustainability of this facility is highly dependent on the cooperation of all related government institutions. As a corporate body of the government, a full independence must be realized as per the South Sudan Urban Water Corporation Act 2011. We believe that the revenues that will be generated by this facility will, en will enable us, the corporation, to have a full sustainability with a surplus, which will be remitted into government account. However, in case of unforeseen challenges, which may result in a deficit, the government will eventually provide subsidy for the sustainability of this important public service. Lastly, but not least, Your Excellency, I want to take this golden opportunity to thank the government of Japan and its people, especially those who worked for us, with us for more than 10 years in making sure that this project is successfully completed. I want to give a special thanks to the Embassy of Japan for their close monitoring of this project progress. A special thank you go to JICA for always availing necessary funds when projects face difficulties due to unexpected matters in the country. My special thanks goes also to Tokyo Engineering the project engineering consultant for their support throughout the construction works, plus the capacity enhancement training 
to our staff within the country and abroad. We have Mr. Sado, the vice president here present to witness. He has been working with us from 2008. A special thank you also go to DNC, the contractor, the company that contracted these water facilities with their partners for successfully completing the construction work with a quality equal to those constructed in Japan. Mr. Kaizo, the DNC manager, is present here. Uh, they are also the one who constructed the Juba Bridge. Your Excellency, I want to end my remarks by saying water is life. Prioritizing water service delivery in our country is a peace dividend by itself. Water service delivery means healthy population. And healthy population means high productivity in other sectors. Your Excellency, allow me to, to say to the people of Japan, thank you, thank you very much. And to the resident of Juba, I want to tell you congratulations. You have safe and clean drinking water. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you, Honorable uh, MD, for the remarks. Your Excellency, that is the introduction of this uh, very important uh, water supply system put in together by the Japanese people.